Good afternoon. In today's lecture, we are going to solve some more questions on transmission line. So let's take the first question. A lossless, a 300 ohm lossless air transmission line is connected to a complex load, which is composed of a resistor in series with an inductor, as shown in figure. At 5 megahertz, you have to determine the reflection coefficient and standing wave ratio. And for this, Basically, if you see that uh, chat note means uh, is your characteristic imp impedance is given to you, resistance is given to you as 100, and inductance is given to you equals to 0 0.02 millihenry. So we have the load impedance equals to R plus J omega L. Omega is given to us in the form of frequency, so omega is equals to 2 pi F. So it's 2 pi into 5 into 10 is to the power 6 into value of your inductance and then it is added with your resistance so this will be your load impedance so if you know that you have to remember this formula of reflection coefficient which is equals to ZL minus Z node ZL plus divided by ZL plus Z node put these values there and with the help of your calculator find these two values so this is your when you solve this if you don't know how to solve it, then you can do it in this way that multiply numerator and denominator with the complex conjugate of this one. So that means you will multiply here with 900 plus J minus J 628 in the numerator and 900 minus J 628 in the denominator. So the denominator will be if. Uh, Your denominator will be basically your numerator will be 300 plus J628 back up close into this is your numerator 900 minus J628. And these are divided by means these are the numerator terms multiplied by 900 plus J628. So this is now denominator term which is going on. And then it is multiplied by your 900 minus j 628 so what will happen is that the numerator will be basically the first term will be your 300 into 900 then plus j 900 into 628 minus J 300 into three hundred into 628 plus J square which is equals to minus one. So when you are multiplying this with this, so it's J square, which is equals to minus one. So it will become plus here. And we can say it will be 628 square. We can say it's 628 into 628. So this is your numerator. I'm writing the numerator only. And then denominator will be here. Sorry, it's the way if I can write it here. So denominator is basically your 900, basically square of 
900 plus square of 628 and when you will solve it means whatever your denominator is divided calculate this part then you have to find the amplitude and you have to find its angle also now if you are familiar with some of these things that is if you have to find the standing wave ratio then standing wave ratio is your one plus mod of uh, reflection coefficient divided by one minus mod of reflection coefficient so it will be one plus 0.63 divided by one point minus 0.63 so it will be 4.0 4.405 .04 okay i need to just remove this from here otherwise it will Now another question is that a 50 ohm lossless transmission line is connected to a load which is composed of a 75 ohm resistor in series with the capacitor of unknown capacitance. So we don't know what is the capacitance and it is shown in the figure. If at 10 megahertz the voltage is standing wave ratio on the line was measured to be 3, determine the capacitance C. So what's given to you in the question is that Z0 is equal to 50 ohm. RL is given to you equals to 75 ohm and C is unknown to you. So now, another thing which is given to you is that standing ratio means S is given to you. So using this formula also, or you can change it in this form, it's up to you. But you can put it here also that S is given to you but you don't know what is reflection coefficient. So you can put the value of S in this one. These two formulas are same. The only difference is that you have to, if you put the value of S here, then it will be S equals to three. Then it will be three equals to one plus mode of reflection coefficient divided by one minus mode of reflection coefficient. So then you will write three minus three mode of reflection coefficient. You will take this to the side, the denominator. So it's basically then you will take the terms of mode on this side. And so it will be basically two will be equals to four times mode of reflection coefficient and uh, which will be two divided by four and it is 0.5 so they both are same so you can use them in this way or that way it's up to you now another thing which we know is that our reflection coefficient is equals to zl minus z naught divided by zl plus z naught z naught we know it was equals to 50 ohm and zl is if you see it's rl minus j xc xc is equals to one upon omega c omega we know it's equals to 2 pi into 10 is to the power 6 10 into 10 is to the power 6 which we will put here but we don't know what is c so we know that rho equals to zl minus z naught divided by zl plus z naught so what the question is saying that you have to find the value of c now it's up to you which way you want to solve it so what you have to do is you have to put these values here general value and chat not value and then you have to solve this question we know what is reflection coefficient is 0.5 put this value here put the value of general minus chat not here general plus chat not here and then solve it Okay, here it has been uh, solved in this way that they are multiplying with the complex conjugates in order to solve it. So you can take any route. And the only thing is that the first easiest way is that you don't put the value of one upon omega c. I will suggest to you it in that way. Don't go in the way it's showing here. You can just use 
j x is there put the value of r l and solve this equation and then when you are finally done put the value of x equals to 1 upon omega c 